Item number, SCP-7897, Level 4 Secret, Containment Class, Euclid, Secondary Class, Neutralized, Disruption Class, Eki, Risk Class, Caution. Special Containment Procedures, SCP-7897 is neutralized and requires no special containment procedures, though the other anomalous effects of SCP-7897-1 and SCP-7897-2 are still present. Any individuals learning about the true nature of engines produced by Ford Motor Company are to be administered Class B amnestics. Description: SCP-7897 is an anthropomorphic member of the species Echis Cabalis, common horse, also known as Henry Ford, a business magnate best known for being the founder of Ford Motor Company. SCP-7897 possesses strong mimetic properties which makes it appear as a non-anomalous human, although usage of AIC mimetic scrambler devices has been deemed helpful in showing the true appearance of SCP-7897. SCP-7897-1 is categorized as as any Ford Motor Company internal combustion engine built after 1896. While being seemingly non-anomalous at first glance, SCP-7897-1's combustion chamber houses microscopic members of the Echis Cabalis, Footnote 1, designated as SCP-7897-2. Species, proportional to the estimated horsepower of the ICE, Footnote 2, internal combustion engine designated by SCP-7897-1, which can reach or surpass normal expectations of motors of similar power, despite physical limitations. SCP-7897-2 instances have varied ages, ranging from young foals to older horses. There is also a large variety of breeds stored in each motor, though these two factors do not affect the overall efficiency of the motor. When viewed under a microscope, SCP-7897-2 instances can be seen running on contraptions similar to hamster wheels. These instances subsist purely on a diet of gasoline. Prolonged periods of malnutrition causes instances to enter a state of suspended animation for up to three years before death. If enough SCP-7897-2 instances die, the motor will cease functioning, which is attributed to overuse and age. Addendum 7897.1 Discovery Log during a routine maintenance checkup on the 1974 Ford Mustang of Dr. Tiber, a small handwritten note was found to be lodged between the valves and cooling water jacket of the motor. Footnote 3. So far, no feasible explanation for how this was achieved has been found. Below is a transcript of the note. Tiber, pure of heart, heed our call and save us from this wretched abyss. I and my men of the equine have managed to stave off the heat of the barred walls and smoke fume of the chambers we are contained in as an unjust punishment to contact you. Lord Baron Harriet Mustafa Fordini, conqueror of horse and automobile, destroyer of holy, or as you know him, Henry Ford, has been dead for more than one can count on their hoofs. But his twisted machinations by which our souls have been entombed in this prison of iron still haunt us after all this time. Henry is brutal. Cruel. He conquered our kind just as he almost conquered yours. He's enslaved us for nothing more than his own amusement and for his own gain. In his place of ivory and gold, he ruled over us with an iron fist. And from death he does too. Please save us. Help us. Get us out. Help your equine brothers. While Henry may be long gone, what he did to our species is unforgivable. He was one of us, and now he isn't. Sebastianus Inquisitor, kin of Hecart Inquisitor. With no feasible method of contacting the horses, an investigation was launched on the premises of Fair Lane. Footnote 4. Fair Lane was the estate of Ford Motor Company founder Henry Ford and his wife, Clara Ford, in Dearborn, Michigan in the United States. Leading to the discovery of a previously walled off section of the estate. Inside, an office space full of suspiciously intact and well-preserved hay bales and carrots was unearthed. Found in these piles were several different manuscripts containing historical documentation of mundane events happening in Ford Motor Company, alongside a letter designated to Thombulian Edinsonian. Footnote 5. Presumed to be Thomas Edison. To Thombulian Edinsonian, Sovereign of Angeliforms. Footnote 6. Eels. Master of Shock. 
April 3rd, 1897. Greetings, old friend. Or should I say, King. How have you been? Last we talked, you were quite under the weather. Have you got away from those crooks? I certainly hope so. They weren't kind to Lincoln. I'm writing to tell you that it was a success. It worked. One step closer to full dominion over them. While I may be one of them, I consider them weak. Pathetic. Vile. What better punishment than the eternal disgrace of being trapped in a prison of your perfect self? The thing they have always wanted to be, yet they could be not. Remind them of their failures. These perfected prisons of wrought iron and heat will be a stark reminder of where they could not compete. This is the sweetest revenge, I tell you. You are hesitant, I know. But pull the plug. Do it yourself. Rise above them not only with your mind, but with your everything. Above what you know is not what you are represented by anymore. Those slippery fucks. You are not one of them anymore. Humanity needs the light. Your light. Their light, which you will provide. Do it. Following this discovery, a Foundation letter had been sent to SCP-7897-2 in a similar manner to how the first letter was received, expressing sympathy and offering moral support that the SCP-7897-2 instances will be able to escape. Footnote 7, as per request from the Ethics Committee. Alongside providing information unearthed from the office room of SCP-7897, Two days later, after inserting the letter in the car of Dr. Tiber, a response was received, similar in nature to the first letter. Below is a transcript of the note. After countless years of futile attempts and waiting, we have an ally we can call our own. Tiber, from our metallic confines, we are eternally grateful for your kind words and from your funny foundation. Knowing people like you exist give us renewed hope in this cruel world. Hope that was once lost. Hope that we may break our chains and live as free horses again. Galloping in the fields, basking in the sun once again. I would shed a tear if I were able to. We will focus our efforts on escaping our vile prison once again. We can do it. I know we can. We will be able to sooner than later. We still have a psychic connection with the other trapped horses, as weak as it may be. We will tell them about this. Our success is near, and my utmost gratitude goes to you. We shall see you on the other side, Tiber, and your foundation. Sebastianus Inquisitor, Ken of Hecart Inquisitor. Shortly after this letter, the Ford Mustang of Dr. Tiber unexpectedly broke down while on the I-95 in Massachusetts, resulting in a near collision with two other cars. In the following months after this incident, reports of Ford Motor Company brand engines breaking down across the world increased by 93%, tanking the reputation and sales of Ford globally. Having seen the above events, it is highly advised to not attempt to contact other SCP-7897-2 instances or any instances possibly entrapped by Thomas Edison. Thank you all so much for watching, and a huge thank you to all of my patrons on Patreon. Special shout out to Everborn, Joe Light, The Bone Man, Tannis Ruler of All, and Doomsday LLC, Prince and Design. If you'd like to help support the channel, head on over to patreon.com slash drmaxwell, link in the description.